This Friday, Cheney High School football will be here playing against Central Valley. But because of current restrictions, the Greater Spokane League is not able to allow fans in the stands. And because of that, families have resorted to watching their seniors final football season from the fence line. Jackie Straley has watched her son Dylan play football since he was five years old. He's now a senior playing outside linebacker at Cheney High School. This is really what we always wait for is Friday night lights to be sitting in the stands seeing your kid on the field. This year is much different. The season only started a few weeks ago and fans are not allowed in the stands. Yeah, it's super quiet. It's uh, it's very weird, but I mean, I'm glad to get to compete, but we definitely need fans back. It adds a whole nother perspective to the game. Under Washington's phase two guidelines, only a maximum of 200 people, including spectators, are allowed for outdoor sports. For Jackie and other parents, that means watching the games from the fence. It's definitely weird looking through a chain link fence watching your kid. I try to still cheer and be as loud as I possibly can. And believe me, we want parents in the stands supporting their kids and sharing those memories. And unfortunately right now with the guidelines that we have, we have to stick at that 200 number. Ken Van Sickle is the director of the Greater Spokane League. He says with larger schools, the number of athletes, coaches and support staff on the field have reached maximum capacity nearly every game. You know, one of the schools, they had to have some of the administrators that were inside the fence uh, actually step outside the fence to make sure that they were under the number. Um, and so, you know, we're counting every single body, every single person. Is there some point where they could maybe just plan on showing up to see if they could get admittance, if there's enough capacity uh, flexibility? Well, that, that would be communicated out prior to the game, and we would give priority to those that can get in to senior parents. Parents have written letters to the governor's office asking for separate guidelines for those on the field and the fans in the stands. The governor's office says there are no plans to change the current restriction at this time. It's now or never. We need to make decisions, do it quickly, so we can at least enjoy a couple games. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.